Research and development supporting the conceptual design phase of solar electric power generation has indicated that solar electric plants can be built on a commercial scale by 1990 at a cost which should make them attractive to the electric utilities. The Department of Energy has chosen a conceptual design developed by Rocketdyne and McDonnell Douglas for the nation's first experimental solar power plant Solar One. Solar One is a 10 megawatt generating plant located in the Southern California desert near Barstow. One of the major issues involved in the design of a solar power plant is that of storing sufficient energy to allow for operation during periods when no sun is available. The purpose of Solar One is to provide technical verification of the projected commercial system and an early indication of central receiver economics. One key element of the design is Rocketdyne's external cylindrical receiver of boiler tubes, single pass to superheat, that is mounted on a central tower surrounded by a field of collectors which focus solar rays on the heat absorbing receiver walls. Steam produced in the receiver passes down the tower and drives a centrally located turbine generator on the ground. Essential to efficient solar thermal power plant operation is thermal storage, which allows the system to continue generating electricity during periods of inclement weather and or darkness. The concept developed by Rocketdyne and chosen by DOE for the experimental plant uses a high temperature heat transfer fluid flowing through a specially designed tank of rock and sand to deposit and withdraw solar heat. This low pressure dual medium thermal storage system, which was jointly patented by Rocketdyne and McDonnell Douglas, has demonstrated outstanding large scale operation at minimum cost. It was primarily developed to retain for later use surplus or waste heat produced by various boiler devices. The central feature of these systems is the use of rock and gravel or other low cost solids that dramatically reduce the cost of energy storage. The use of the Rocketdyne thermal storage concept allowed the integration of a constant load turbine with a variable output solar receiver using standard process control techniques. Laboratory and full-scale tests on this system have established high energy recovery, wide flow range capability, and long-term material compatibility. Suitable commercial heat transfer fluids are available for a wide range of applications, with storage temperatures up to 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit at atmospheric pressure. Heat transfer fluids dealt with include hydrocarbons, molten salts, and molten alkali metals. Rocketdyne's experience includes proven system integration of new concepts together with design, construction, and operation at minimum cost. The thermal storage concept was chosen by the Department of Energy to extend into periods of darkness the electrical generating capacity of the
the nation's first solar power plant. Thermal storage systems can be tailored to fulfill energy storage needs for many applications, such as waste heat utilization and load leveling. Let's examine this example of a thermal management system in more detail. In Solar One, sunlight strikes the heliostat, a sun tracking mirror. There are 1,818 heliostats in this field. The sun is reflected to the elevated receiver boiler that absorbs the solar energy and converts high pressure water into steam. The receiver boiler is a once through configuration with rated steam conditions of 960 degrees Fahrenheit and 1,515 pounds per square inch. The boiler is 23 feet in diameter and 45 feet tall. It is constructed of one half inch diameter nickel alloy steel tubes. The tower itself is steel. The steam is then directed to a conventional turbine generator where electrical power is produced. During periods when excess steam is available or under conditions of cloud passage, the steam is directed to a system for storage and extracted later. Conceptually, in its simplest form, the system uses a bed of an inexpensive solid. An appropriate high temperature liquid fills the voids in the bed and circulates through the bed to deposit or withdraw energy. In operation, charging of the bed is achieved by removing lower temperature fluid from the bottom of the bed, heating it in a heat exchanger with steam from the receiver, and returning the fluid to the top of the tank. A fairly sharp temperature transition a thermocline is maintained naturally between hot and cold fluid because of the lower density of the hot fluid. This thermocline moves downward through the bed during charging and upward during extraction. The extraction loop utilizes the fluid to remove energy from the storage unit and produces steam for power plant operation. After use, the steam is cooled and condensed back to water so that it can be pumped back up to the tower to be reheated to steam and put to work again. A conventional cooling system consisting of a wet cooling tower, piping and condenser will be used to cool the exhaust steam. Solar thermal conversion benefits from using conventional power plant technology and materials and therefore offers immediate promise for the utility industry. The efficient storage of thermal energy, which is an integral feature of the Solar One system, can be used in a myriad of applications. Rocketdyne's solution to the Solar One energy storage issue is but one example of the means available to solve thermal management problems for industry and the utilities. Through 30 years of heat transfer research and development, Rocketdyne has demonstrated the ability to synthesize innovative products and techniques which are produced using conventional technology and can be applied to many critical energy-oriented problems.